Hey guys, good morning. We have Elizabeth in the studio again with us today. Of course, our county extension agent always here to talk to us about things going on that we need to be discussing. Today is kind of a, a tough thing to discuss, but it's something we as parents and caregivers really need to be talking about, and that's hot car deaths with kids. Yes, on average, every year we lose 38 children. Ugh. And we talk children uh, just younger than 15. And it is something that is so preventable. So preventable. It's not like a child is sick or a war is happening. It is just different reasons that we can prevent this. And Elizabeth, what are some of the ways that you recommend we do prevent these type of things? That we, you know, we were talking about our minds are always going, we're not always thinking about what we should be thinking about because we have so much going on. What are some ways that we can make sure we are present and thinking about these things? Well, the first reason is like the, child, the caregiver forgot. Yeah. So, having that mind present. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're in stress, we have uh, sleep, de we're sleep deprived, and all of the things we have to know that it could happen yes. to the best uh, parent. The second one is a child went in the car by themselves yes. and nobody knew about it. So those kids have to be hidden. They have to, you have to teach the, the children that a car is not a place to hide or to play. And the other one is like knowingly the parent left the child in the car, not knowing, not understanding maybe the, the how nature works. Yes. That if, if it's hot, that baby, the body will, the, will be hitting five times more than a, an adult's body. So what are some of the things we can do? I know you guys have suggested putting something in the back seat that you will have to go and get so that you see, oh, the child is there. What are some other ways? Uh, other ways is like, and you know, people say, okay, put something in the back of your phone. I have been in my office without my phone. Yeah. Even with my purse, without my purse. So you have to find something that you really need. And I always recommend, and, and it's kind of funny, but your left shoe. Mm. If you put that left shoe beside a child, you cannot go anywhere. You need your shoe. Yeah, absolutely. Elizabeth, yes. we really appreciate this, and we can always ha we'll have more um, advice on our website as well. But it's just something to keep in mind as, as the temperatures heat up. All right, guys, stay home. Stay with us. We'll be right back.